Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the mosaic earring that goes with the necklace, that reversible necklace we made recently. So if you haven't seen it, one side looks like this, the other side looks has a bezel. This is what it looks like. Um, and just a note, so it has come to my attention that I have been pronouncing Wibe Duo wrong. I call it a Wibby Duo. <laughs> it is a Wibe Duo. I don't know where I got Wibby Duo from, but I kind of like it. I think it's more fun than Wibe Duo, but I will start pronouncing it correctly from now on. So here, I'll give you a quick look at each earring. This is what it looks like. And it goes really nice with the necklace or just on its own. And I think you could even make a beautiful bracelet by connecting these units, which yeah, we may do. All right, so I'm gonna clear this off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So we're going to make the mate to this earring, but I'll put the colors to, the, to all three in the description box below the video. So you know the drill. I'll click the down arrow, the show more box will open. All this stuff will be there. Okay, so you need eight millimeter chiton. You're gonna need some wipe duos. You need a four millimeter round bead. I'm using a gold stone here, um, but of course you can use a pearl, a drug, anything. 11-0 seed beads, 15-0 seed beads, 3 millimeter fire polish bead. Um, I'm using, I have an optional bugle bead here where I used it on the back, but you don't really need to use it, you know, to do that if you don't want to. But if you happen to have a few bugle beads, you can add those on the back. Pair of ear wires, so you'll need two. Stop bead. I've got some eight pound fire line black satin. I've got a size, I have a, a needle case with all sizes in it, so you'll probably use a... Um, a 10 and a 12 here. Um, let's see, is there anything else? No, I think that's about it. So I'm going to clear this off and we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started. So thread your needle with about 30 inches of thread, put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So I picked up and put, dropped down to my stop bead, Wibe Duo, four millimeter round, Wibe Duo, four millimeter round, Wibe Duo, four millimeter round, Wibe Duo, four millimeter I'm going to sew these into a circle by sewing through that first bead after the stop bead. And then I'm just going to go all the way around. So you're going to start like that. I'm just going to pull my needle through. This is what we have. And you're just going to continue sewing through the beads until you pass the stop bead and you're going to exit one of the wipe duos. This is what I have. So my I'm exiting the wide duo. My thread is right here. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's and I'm just going to sew through the next one. So the next, so we're at the, still at the bottom hole here, bottom hole of that wide duo. Okay, I'm just going to pull. I'm going to do that again. Sitting here, I'm just going to sew. This one, like that, and you're going to do that two more times. Coming down to the end, putting on my last three, exiting here, sewing through this one, like so, and then I'm going to go directly through the, that first three that I put on, like that, and this is what you'll have. So finish that up and then sew your tail thread in at this point and then we'll continue. This is what it looks like so far, but just a note, when you sew your tail thread in, all you're gonna do is, I've already done it, is thread your needle with the tail thread and then just go through a few of the, the beads here. So you, I think you'll probably be exiting, well, you're exiting either the uh, four millimeter or the uh, wipe duo. You're just gonna go through, make a half inch knot, go through a couple other beads, make a little knot and that'll be fine. Okay, so this is where we are. Let's add some fire polish beads. And I was just looking at this thinking, gee, this could be an interesting component in itself, just like this. And, you know, with this open like that. So anyway, you know, lots of ideas <laughs> come about when, you know, when you're beading, right? So I'm picking up a three millimeter fire polish and I'm just gonna sew through the next three. So I'm, I've exited the, that group of three. I'm just gonna sew through the next group of three. Like that. Yeah, I think that could make a pretty bracelet with, you know, just at that point. Do that again. 
So you're just putting a three millimeter all around. Like so. And then, oops, one more. Sewing so through the, the first three beads there. So I have four of my three millimeter beads on. I'm not doing, I'm pulling too tight right now. I'm gonna pop my stone in like that. And I'm going, and it's, it's, you know, it looks wonky, it doesn't fit right now. I'm just gonna advance through that next three millimeter. So this is what it looks like. I'll give that a little pull like that. And then I'm gonna add my 15 O's. Let's add the 15 O's. So I picked up three 15 O's. I'm exiting the fire polish bead. I'm just gonna sew through the next fire polish bead like that. And your stone might pop around a little bit, but that's okay. Three 15 O's through the next fire polish bead and so on. So you're just going to do that all the way around. Coming down to the last three 15 O's. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through this fire polish bead. So I've connected all the beads and now my bezel is pretty much set. So all you're going to do is just reinforce everything. So just go around all the beads again that you just put on. You know, the three millimeters through the fire polish through the three uh, through the um, three 15 O's, through the fire polish, through the three 15 O's, through the fire polish, etc., just to secure that stone a little bit more. This is what we have so far, and I think at this point it would make a nice earring. So I love when you can stop along the way and the design looks like a design. So that's so much fun, but I'm going to keep going. So I'm exiting the fire polish. I've gone around, I've reinforced, it's nice and snug, the bezel isn't going anywhere. So I'm exiting the fire polish. I'm just gonna hop over to the three 11 O's on the side like that. And then through the wipe duo. So I'm exiting the bottom hole of the wipe duo. Okay, let's move on. So I'm going, I'm exiting the bottom hole of this duo right here. I'm just going to sew through the top hole and that's going to bring that thread around and it might just pop in the back a little bit which is fine. I think it will be pretty much covered and you won't see it so at this point we're exiting the top of this wide duo. Okay, next up we're going to pick up a 15-0, an 11-0, a 4 millimeter, an 11-0, and a 15-0. That's what I have. Exiting the top hole here. I'm just going to sew through the top hole the next one. Just like that. I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. 15 0, 11 0, 4 millimeter, 11 0, 15 0. Exiting here, going to sew through the top hole the next one. And you're just going to do that two more times. Down to my last group here. Exiting here, my 15 0, 11 0, 4 millimeter, 11 0, 15 0. I'm going to sew through this guy. That. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to reinforce that. Reinforced all the way around and I'm exiting the top hole of one of the wide duos. And if you, if you pull it pretty tight, you're going to curve a little bit. You can curve a lot, but don't pull it. I wouldn't pull it too tight. Um, or you can leave it completely flat, whichever you like. I pull it a little bit and it gives it just a little bit of a curve the ear hook on so I'm gonna I'm exiting the top of a wide duo I'm gonna pick up two 11 O's my ear wire and two 11 O's I'm just gonna come around the other side of that the bead I'm exiting and you want to make sure that those 11 O's are going to sort of hold your ear wire into place. You don't want it to be um, sort of laying on just on the, like pulling the thread up like that. You want to make sure they're sort of in between there. You could always add 15 over there if you need an extra bead. So I've just come around. I'm just going to sew up through everybody again. Down these two. And then through that wipe duo again, 
pull it nice and tight and you should. I might need a an extra bead in there. We'll see. So this ear wire is a little on the thick side, so it Oh, well, that's I think that's okay. All right. But you'll see if you need an extra bead there or not. So I've just reinforced it twice. I'm just going to start sewing through the beads. Like so. Until I get to the bottom here and I'm going to embellish the bottom a little bit. So I've come down, you know, I've just sewn through the beads here and I'm exiting this little 15-0 right there before this wide duo. I'm going to pick up five of my 11-0s. Now, a couple of the other earrings that I've made took four to surround this um, this wide duo. Just like at the top here, um, I think could have added a couple more beads, maybe two 15-0s at the top. So for some reason, it's taking a few more beads, uh, an extra bead, but that happens um, just depending on the size of the seed beads you're using and the, you know, maybe this bead is a little bit larger. Who knows? Anyway, so we're exiting here. I'm going to use five. I'm going to come around and sew through the 15-0, the 11-0, and then that four millimeter on the other side. And you see that's going to surround my stow, my um, wipe duo. Okay, we're back and we're all done. And I think they're very cute, very fast, very easy. Just a note, if, um, if you want to on the back, you can move your thread so you're exiting one of the wide duos and you can put an 11-0, a bugle bead 11-0 through the top hole of the wide duo and then again here, here, and here and that will decorate the back a little bit. So I'll show you one decorated and one not. So I don't, it doesn't really need it but you know here it is right there just in case you decide you might want to do that. All right so here you go. Here are your earrings to go with your necklace. So I want to thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.